Hey, what's up? I got this uh, Traxxas Rustler. This is the uh, the clear uh, body that you can order. It's pretty cheap. I think it was like 20 something dollars maybe. So it comes clear and um, uh, it's, it's obviously the plastic. And so <clears throat> the cool thing about this is that it has on the outside, there is the, uh, the plastic uh, that they put on like uh, glass things or plastic, clear plastic things to kind of protect it. Um, and that's what this, this right here is. You use a blow dryer to kind of heat it up. But um, the interesting, cool thing about this is you, you don't paint the outside of this, you paint the inside. Um, and so um, you can buy this stuff here. This is a liquid uh, gel mask stuff. Um, and I got this on Amazon as well. And uh, you'll definitely need some um, some exactos. So I got this kit as well. I'll do a lot of this stuff. And it's probably good to have something like this as well. Um, so this is uh, like a magnifying uh, glass as well. And so um, what you do is you, you take this stuff here and it's kind of a, a white milky looking substance and you just brush it on, right? So just uh, like a, use a brush like this, just dip it in there and you just coat it. Just put it on there as much as you can, you know. Um, a, a good tip is also you don't want to put it on too thin. So do do maybe two or three coats of it because when it's thin, it doesn't it doesn't come off um, as clean. And so you can probably see here that there's so this is the area that I've I've taken it off in here, but there's a few spots where it pulled all the way up. So what I'm going to do is come back over it, and when you pull it off, it looks like this, like a green booger or something. And then so. Um, I'm going to paint that back on there, uh, and then, now, the important thing is, is once you put this on, let it dry for 24 hours. You need 24 hours for it to really, really take hold. Um, but just to start out, since it does have this clear mask on the outside, what you do is you just, uh, you can sh do Sharpie, draw in whatever you design you want, so I'll get some cool flames, and um, it, it's, it's kind of weird, but... Uh, you have to think about it um, in reverse of painting. So you're gonna do want to do the dark colors first. And so what I'm doing here is I'm gonna do hot pink flames. This is my daughter's. So I'm gonna do hot pink flames here, and then the rest of it is going to be uh, uh, like bright, bright yellow. And then it comes with stickers as well for like windows and things like that. Um, but you want to do the darker colors first. So. Um, this will be again the the the, uh, the bright bright pink, and then once I spray, so you take this hot pink mask off, which that's what I'm doing right now. Take the hot pink mask off, and then you spray paint it. So just spray paint it on the inside, and then so there'll be you know obviously paint on the uh, the, the mask as well. So once you're done with the pink, the darker color, then you can pull. The rest of the mask off and then spray paint there so now you're spray painting on top of the of the um the hot the the, the darker color which and so in the end um and actually in the end i'm probably just going to spray paint a white coat um, to kind of seal it on there as well um but yeah so it's kind of a tedious process that's where this comes in handy of pulling the uh you know, use this to pull off it's got a light on it pretty cool nerd so you, uh, you, you can really see up in there and get your X-Acto blade. And then you'd want tweezers as well to like pluck that stuff off. So um, the tools, uh, let me uh, get the rest of this mask off and then um, I'm gonna do, do some touch-ups. Um, but it just you just kind of get it and you can see it just kind of pulls off like that. So kind of tedious, but should be cool. I'll check back. So I rattled out the, uh, the first coat here and uh, by rattle, Use the old fluorescent hot pink rustoleum uh, rattle can, and then um, so I did maybe two coats. It dries pretty quickly. It's kind of windy, so I did it in the shade. But um, so that's the first coat. Obviously, I just painted over everything, and so now when I pull off uh, the the remaining mask, it's going to leave all of that uh, the pink there. And then now we're gonna then then I'll come in and, and do the the uh, bright yellow behind that. So it'll be hot pink flames with a bright yellow car. So uh, more to come. Yo yo. So I got all the uh, the mask off um, that uh, 
was left from the first coat, but uh, that's going to be yellow wherever it's clear. Um, so it also went through with a Sharpie and uh, just on the inside, you cut through it here. So huge, huge tip. Make sure you goop this stuff on, uh, the masking stuff, because it, it, it needs to be thick. Um, it just takes forever to get off. It's a pain in the butt. So um, <clears throat> make sure you put a lot of it on there. And then uh, again, so I'm gonna put the yellow coat on and then I will take the top part off here that uh, was got some of these lines on there, flames that I didn't, didn't use. And I also painted the tail. I did the pink in the tail, so we'll see. All right, so here it is. <laughs> and uh, I learned a lot on this one, actually. Um, so the, the paint is somewhat translucent. So as you can see, it's now orange. So obviously I had the, the really bright pink flames. Once I painted on the yellow, it, uh, it made it orange. Pretty cool, still. So I've put the stickers on, and it looks it looks primo. I still I still got to do the uh, the spoiler, the back fence spoiler because um, I thought that once I painted it, because I want to do the underside green because I've got some green components that go in this, and so I painted the top the hot pink, and then once I painted the bottom green, it came out like this, which is pretty gross. So. I'll probably just uh, paint this white and start over. If I do a coat on both sides of white, it'll make it uh, solid enough so that I can put any color I want. So I'll do pink on the top, or well, I don't even know what to do now. I'll probably just do white on the top and uh, the green on the bottom. Um, uh, should be, I mean, once you pull the film off here, um, it's so shiny. It's 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 just it's a really great concept, the way that this is done because I mean it, it protects itself. Although I've taken it out a few times and you can see um, where motor parts are. Once it kind of jumps and stuff, it'll it'll kind of scrape up right here. Um, but <clears throat> you know I just put the stickers on that came with it. Um, super fun if you if you just if you're kind of crafty you could definitely do this stuff again super super fun looks very cool and put the uh the hood mounts hood locks on here the headlights uh, as you can see it is really shiny it's really cool uh again i had a lot of fun like there's some grass on it here already <laughs> um, but yeah it definitely it, it definitely stands out um so things you have to, to, to pay attention to. Biggest tip I can give you is when you put the gel on, the masking gel, you cover this thing. Just gop it on, glob it, whatever you want to call it. Gloppy, gobby, gooby, goop. Just put it on, just heavy, 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 heavy coat, one, maybe three coats, because it's gonna make it easier to peel off, you know, and so you use an X-Acto blade to cut it, but then you can peel it off um, in, in sheets as opposed to, like I had a pink fingernail for a while because I was scraping to try to get it off. And then the next thing is um, you have to be conscious conscious of what the colors are gonna mix together. So I did the pink first and then I did the yellow, it turns orange. So, um, you know, so probably what I would do if I were doing this again is I would put down the hot pink and then I would go white just do a hard hardcore coat of white over the entire thing and then you peel off all the the, the mask and then that that um, then the yellow will go on the white so it would because it, it definitely changed the color I also took a sharpie and I cut in um, with the, the sharpie I kind of cut in the color there the black so it looks it's just not you can see I didn't do it here um, but yeah, this is a fun project, man. Do it. Uh, get creative. There you go.
Yep, 